Now, to give a little clarity to the situation, we wanted to show you a timeline of the events from the fatal accident, and K-Texas reporter Farron Salee lays out the facts on what happened. Farron? Well, it hasn't even been a month since the accident, Wayne. A lot has happened in the last three weeks. Here's a recap of how the case has progressed. Around 3.40 the morning of Sunday, April 15th, the 2003 Chevy Impala was headed south on FM 600 with six teenagers inside. Suddenly, the car ran off the road into an open field, colliding with an eight-foot tree. It hit so hard, the tree was uprooted. According to police, the teens were pulled from the car by a friend who was driving ahead of them. Evidence indicates the vehicle was driving faster than the posted speed limit. An empty beer can was found inside. 16-year-old Alexis Flores was pronounced dead just hours after the crash, but 13-year-old Brianna Camacho was taken to a nearby Allsup's on Overland Trail. From there, an ambulance rushed her to Hendrick Hospital, where she died after being taken off life support the next day. The driver, 17-year-old Alicio Garza, was released from the hospital the day of the accident. As for the other passengers, 16-year-old Nick Lopez and 17-year-old Gabriel Mendoza were in critical condition for several days. They were ultimately released from the hospital later that week. Now, it wasn't until the following week that the final victim in the crash, that was 13-year-old Melina Camacho, was finally released.